Welcome back to the Postal Peter B. Peter Biancomano back in the host chair. I want to thank John John Smith for guest hosting last segment. He did a phenomenal job and hopefully we'll have him on again in the future. But joining us now is Daria De Lucia <laughs> of At Hoboken Eats. Daria, what's going on? Hello, I'm excited to be back here once again and of course love the way you say my name. Uh, it never gets old, right? <laughs> never gets old. Never, never gets old. So Daria, last year we were at Pier 13, which is located one pier away from Correct. us here. Love and Pier 13. Big we fan. tried almost every food truck, I yes. believe, last year. Yes, I had a lot of food that day. It was probably the best day ever. <laughs> it really, really was. It was the best day for the crew ever. Yeah. Because we just ate the leftover food after that. But anyway, now this year they do have some new trucks, they correct? They do, they do. And I said to myself, and to you rather, when we were talking about your segment, I was like, why don't we try it? Let's go back. Gotta exactly. Go back. So the lovely Nicolette's actually going to bring an item out. We actually went to Pier 13. Nicolette already. is my new best friend. Exactly. She is going to be in Come bringing some over. food in. I cannot and wait. And Daria, what is Thank this you. first dish that so you got? first thing we have here is from the Gringo's food truck. We have a chicken quesadilla. And if we could just hold this up so the camera can oh, see, yeah. it looks really, really good. And this is like a lot of quesadilla. Like, this is a good amount of food. I'm going to steal this right now. Oh, my goodness. I think you might try a little, too. I think I do want to try a little. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I never eat on camera, folks. This is amazing to me. Thank you, Nicola. Oh, look at that. Mm. She's saying first time for everything. I love it. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay, so what's in it? Oh, my God. That's really good. Mmm. So there is, wow, you're getting a lot of flavors in here. First of all, the first thing I notice is the, the spices. I'm not even going to guess, but the spices are absolutely delicious on the chicken. Then you have peppers and onions and cheese inside and then pico de gallo. And I want to say some kind of crema on top. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. This little tiny, little, little quesadilla packs quite a big punch. Unbelievable. Now, it's from Gringo's truck, you said? Gringo's truck. So they're also the same everywhere. Exactly. The same owners <laughs> as Pier 13 and they have the brick and mortar restaurant in Jersey City. Oh, called Gringo's obviously. Yep. I was just going to yep. ask you if they had a, um, a brick and mortar mm. location. I got to tell you, mm. this, you're right, because sometimes you get like a quesadilla and it's like, ugh, you taste the bland chicken, you this taste chicken, the cheese. I mean, I want to know, I want to go so back nice. there and find I'm out what they do every bite. day. Go ahead, go ahead. One bite. <laughs> mm. I want to know how, what they marinate this chicken and how long they marinate this chicken because the flavor inside is just, and again, there is cheese, peppers, and onions in here, but the chicken is still in the shell, in my opinion. Absolutely still in the shell. Absolutely phenomenal, folks. And that was disgusting what I just did by putting that in my mouth, but it's so good. <laughs> Dario is all prim and proper. I I'm just trying. shoved it in. I'm trying. You <laughs> guys have all seen me at my worst on this mm. show. <laughs> okay, now let's go. Uh, why don't we move on? Mm -hmm. uh, if you're ready, I don't know if you're ready or not there. Bring it on. All right. Good. Let's move on to the next truck. And it looks like we have some sort of tacos here, right, Daria? The lovely Nicolette again. My best friend. <laughs> These are falafel tacos from falafel, falafel Gourmet. So a little play on words. It's falafel. Falafel. So, yes. So I'm excited to get very full from these beautiful, beautiful <laughs> tacos. Let me finish my dilla. There you go. Just finishing the okay. dilla there. Okay. So I'm assuming it's just falafel and... So let's break this down. Let's okay, dissect it before we get into Thank it. You. So what I'm seeing on here, very hearty portion of falafel on here as well. Also, I've never had falafel in a taco. I'm actually pretty excited about this. And then I'm seeing some slaw in there and some a sauce. Mm. Let's see. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Folks, it is a skill eating a taco and a quesadilla One -handed. and holding a with microphone. With your hair blowing. Your, with your hair blowing, yeah. I don't have that issue, but... <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing very good. I'm, I'm expecting trying. to get something on this I'm white shirt. Okay, so, the taco. Yeah, go ahead. First of all, the falafel is delicious. Like, before we get into the fact that it's in a taco, which I'm also loving the combination of a tortilla with the falafel, and then you get a little bit of a crunch from the outside of the falafel and the slaw, and then this... It's like a tangy sauce, kind of. Do you taste that? I do. It's a little bit tangy. I'm trying to wonder what that is, Let's right? One more bite. It's not like a tzatziki mm -mm. sauce, I don't think, correct? Mm -mm. Oh, I'm spilling it. The seagulls are going to have fun. The Canadian geese, which are an issue mm. in Hoboken, are going to have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is definitely more of a simpler dish in the fact that you have your, like the falafel is what steals, steals the show. It, it's phenomenal. You put it in a taco, you make something completely different. I absolutely, and, I love it. And does the falafel? Bowl. I'm gonna say there's hummus in here. You know what? That's what I taste. Mm -hmm. I can actually see it. Do you think like the sauce is hummus? I think it's hummus. I don't even know. I think Correct. it's hummus. I mean, get a zoom in on that if you can. <laughs> and if you can see the colors too. Look at the colors in there with the purple slaw and the. Well, that's falafel. like the cat. Right. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. I love All right. That. Before we get to the next one, we might have to put these we might down because I don't ones know down. if uh, Dara is gonna I know. be. So now. 
falafel. Falafel is gourmet. Gourmet. It's just a truck, no brick and mortar. Not that I've, I haven't seen it. Not that I'm aware of. Not okay. that I'm aware of. So I think the best bet is for everyone to make sure you get to Pier 13. To Pier and try 13 the truck. and try it out. Thank you, Nicolette. Thank you. My I God, not only she's serving that. us, she's also taking our leftovers. That is uh, unbelievable. All right. So now the last truck that we got something for, from. Bro Rito's food truck, and we have a Chipotle chicken burrito. Now if I can do all of this one-handed. This is really a big scale. Okay. Oh my goodness! Look okay. at this, folks. Okay. So first of all, we're gonna get in here. I'm good on this one. Yeah, he's gonna yeah. make me look I'm like a fool. I'm gonna make on her camera. look like a fool. So what we have here is <laughs> it, so again, chipotle chicken, beans, rice, peppers, onions. Is that a cauliflower? No, I think this is rice. Oh, it's rice. Right. I think we got a bunch of rice. <laughs> what am I? You might need to try. Up, up, bean down. Bean, bean down. Bean right. down. It's on the leg. Don't worry. This is gonna be a very cute sight. Everyone, please bear with me. All right. So now, and and, and we want to thank our wonderful production assistants mm. who got us this food uh, before. We used to have to go truck to truck. That's Nicolette and John. Thank mm. you so much. Okay, talk to me. I have food on my face. I have beans on my lap. What? It's just another segment it's on the just pulse. <laughs> just another segment another on the pulse. Another day in my life. <laughs> this. Oh, we have another chicken down. This packs a lot, a lot of punch. The Chipotle chicken has a very, very nice kick to it. Not too spicy, but excuse me, a little bit of kick. The rice has a nice kind of binds it all together. The beans are a perfect addition to this, and the peppers and onions also. They're kind of picking up that Chipotle vibe from the uh, from the the peppers and onions are picking up the Chipotle from the chicken. That's a tongue twister. So it's interesting. This is two <laughs> Mexican uh, cuisine trucks on the pier, correct? Yep. But they're not. They are not. The, they not are not one and the same. Not, nope. Yeah, okay. And Bro Ritos is more. You know, I want to think we'll play off the name of burritos a little bit more. Where Gringos does kind of play up. We had a quesadilla, quesadilla, but I've always gotten tacos at Gringos too. They have fantastic tacos. Okay. Um. So this is uh, this is absolutely amazing, and uh. it's it's thick, like T H I C C thick. Like you're getting <laughs> you're getting a good sized burrito from uh from this food truck. And Derek, I have to ask you mm -hmm. before. <laughs> Before she digs into another bite, I'll, I'll make sure she chews. Look at this. She's even getting napkins on there. I love it. Um, so I have to ask you about this now. So you were up here 13 last week. Is it different with the social distancing? Yep. And, and very so important on? thing to touch on. So um, we waited in a bit of a line to get in okay. um, with masks on. They're definitely keeping it to like the two-hour max time. Um, all the tables are separated. You can get up to go to the bathroom, but there's no like getting up to socialize anymore. It's waits. The There's waiters that come to your table to serve you the, your drinks. Um, and you can use you can can pay you with go cash to the food now. Truck I mean, still. you can pay with card now too. Can you go to the, the food trucks thing. and bring food back? I didn't see anybody doing that. I don't. Well, I don't. I'm not sure. I do not want to speak okay. to that because I didn't see people doing that. Well, Daria, we're gonna make you finish that <laughs> because, uh, and what better? Eating on a pulse today, baby. All right, I'm Daria so De Lucia of At Hoboken Eats. Thank you for joining thank us. Thank you. Very great to be and here. And we, we're gonna have a surprise for the audience in a few weeks. You're not gonna want to miss it. Daria knows, but stay tuned to our social media platforms because we're gonna be doing something fun. Thanks. You guys again. are always up to fun. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, join us next week for the pulse on everything. You need to know. Have a great week, everybody.